Hello everybody, in today's episode we have reached the Yasnagura Monastery behind us there, the big fortification that resisted the attack of the Swedes during the Swedish deluge basically uh, I think nobody even got killed during the defense of this monastery and here we got the great John Paul II We'll get there closer in a moment. So today we will be doing some point of view photography shooting from the outside and the inside. We got about 20 frames loaded in today and we will be shooting with the Leica M1 with the 50 millimeter f3.5 Leica lens all as well. And today Luckily, I didn't forget to bring the uh, thread mount for the GoPro, so you'll have a continuous recording from the GoPro on the camera. So today is really no cuts, so the video might come out long, and sorry for any mistakes or anything. The film we are using would be the Kodak T-Max 400 that's expired for over 30 years. But today we will be doing a uh, very big experiment that I don't know the effects will come out. Because the T-Max 400 is of course ISO 400. I always took photos at ISO 200, that means letting in two times more light. And the negatives weren't too perfect. Uh, so you should let in four times more light. But today... We will not only be letting in less light, but we will be pushing it to originally to 3200 ISO. So we will be measuring the light for 1600 ISO. So in reality, technically we might be getting somewhere near 800 or 1000 ISO, really. But the quality might be degraded a lot because it's a long time expired film so with film you gotta experiment right so let's thread you on to the leica and this will be our model not only my son but as well the beautiful views that are turning gray today so enjoy i don't know if i'll be talking much or not Let's spin you round and round here onto the thread mount because no cuts, of course. Okay, that's enough so we get you nice and straight. Let's spin this. My fingers are freezing again because it's a very cold day here as well. Of course, it's winter. You don't expect it to be nice and sunny and warm outside during the winter, right? Well, if you did expect that, then I don't know where you live, but I want to live with you. All right, that's not perfect. There we go. Now it's quite perfect. Quite almost perfectly straight, I would say. So let's extend the lens. Come on, don't say the lens already got too cold and doesn't want to lock into place. Ah, there we go. Now it locked into place. And of course, as you already know or don't know, the Leica M1 does not have a rangefinder. It is uh, basically guessing the distance and taking a photo. So the app I use for our light meter is just a Lux app. We will set the ISO for, well no, we will expose at 1600. And now you set your aperture. Let's say we want to set it at 5.6. The ground is exposed at a 60th of a second. So that's what we will expose it at. The sky is 250th, but we don't care much about the sky. On our previous shots, the sky did not come out blown out. It was too much detail there, too gray. So we will just expose it for the ground. 
the shadows will come out a little bit darker, but oh well. And let's take a shot like this at 5.6 60th of a second. So set the lens to 5.6, infinity focus set to 60th of a second. And let's see how the framing comes out. Oh, well at 50 millimeters, we are not capturing the entire monastery. Of course, my eye is still not adjusted to 50 milliliter, mill, milliliters. Yeah, 50 milliliters, that's a shot of buck. Yep, so let's take it. Let's take it this way. All right. All right. So that is our shot number one. Of course, I did set the counter today, so we should be getting the proper amount of shots. We should know how much we have. Come, my son. Let's go further in over there. Let's take a shot over here as well. At the entrance, there's, there's a lot of people walking back and forth over here. If somebody walks up that they want their photo deleted, well, they will just have to deal with it. For now, let's do all the photos at a 60th of a second. We'll have to hurry up a bit because the day isn't as bright and we're already exposing for 1600 ISO and it's a 60th of a second at 5.6 so we don't have much wiggle room here have much uh, let's take our model over here stop over there now nah, that won't work as well come so we already got we are on our second photo right Let's see here if we got something interesting. Uh, 50 milliliters. Milliliters. Why do I keep saying milliliters? Looks like my head needs something today. Let's take this shot. And as always, my fingers are freezing off. Especially from a metal camera. <laughs> well, we keep focusing on an infinity focus. I don't know if that previous photo came out too well, but at 5.6, we need at least 15 meters. That's 45 feet. Uh, maybe would come out almost in focus. But for this photo, we gotta change our focus a bit. At 5.6, we don't want infinity. Let's say everything from five meters. Yeah, that would be good for this. So, we'll take this photo. Let's see how the tower looks like from underneath here. Huh, it is a 
bit interesting. Let's get up closer, maybe. To make it more... There we go. We don't want to go inside because that would be completely no light for our film here now. I want to go up there. Oh, the tower's closed today, okay. I would assume. Unless somebody would want to freeze to death up there. But I don't see anybody up there, so I guess it's closed. Well, let's take a photo over here. Just let's get our light meter out to see if a 60th of a second will be enough in there. Should be. Yeah, for 60th of a second uh, at 5.6, it shows good. Just, let's measure the distance. How far can this be here? Let's say one, two, three, five meters. Let's measure for 15 feet. That gives us between. There we go. So where should we go take a photo next? Let's take some abstract architecture. There we go. I wonder how that came out. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, there's a... Oh, let, let's go over here if we um, yes let's go this way if we can't take a photo at least you'll have it recorded because there is like uh, we just took a photo in yeah, the Bethlehem scene it was static not moving and here they usually put up something that does move So let's see how they did it this year. So we got some animals in there. Because they usually keep some animals out in here. Oh, there's a long line. Well, it looks like we should be able to take a photo on film inside because it doesn't look too dark. But there is a long line here. Four fifteenth of a second. Stand over there. We'll take a photo. We're completely guessing. Oh, that was it. Fifteenth of a second. So I wonder how that photo came out. <laughs> I said no editing, but does fast forwarding count as no editing? I mean no cuts, no cuts. So no cuts is no cuts. Fast forwarding is not a cut, right? So I will fast forward this way to nine. So you don't have to stand here and look at our pretty faces all this time. So let's just fast forward till we get there. <laughs>
I took a photo and didn't realize that I had my focus range set wrong. Now it should be much better because I had it set for 30 feet. That's quite far. Because we're at F4 here, 30th of a second. Let's see, that would be 1.7 meters. They will be very interesting photos. Seeing out a whole city of life here. Everybody does completely something else. Some people are cooking, cutting grass, cows are eating food, donkeys are getting their horseshoes put on, chickens are being fed. Everything, everything you can imagine happening in a city is happening here. And on the opposite side, we got more life going on here. On the opposite side, we got some dolls going round and round. My focus might be a a lot off on uh, a lot of those photos. Oh, we got a drunk art there. Drinking the city wine supply. And one's pressing olive oil I guess So let's go ahead and continue. So it got too dark outside now. 
to do much photos. We are on our 15th or 16th photo currently. So we only got a few more to do and I don't know where we can do them, but I can assume we will have enough light in the main um, I forgot how they call it in English in the main chapel or something like that there's usually a lot of light there so let's go finish up the roll in there and you can see how it looks like as well so luckily we didn't go in earlier because we would lose some photos, either they came out good or not. <laughs> if we can't take any photos, at least you could enjoy the views. At a 4.30th of a second is good, looks like it. Let's make sure we got infinity focus. There was an interesting room here somewhere. Let's see. At four fifteenth of a second, we could capture this. It is a little bit annoying to range focus all the time because when you look in the viewfinder you see everything in focus and that screws you up because nothing is in focus if you have it set to infinity. Let's see, this is I would assume Here we got portraits of kings of Poland. 
Then you can use a full indent. Others. And we're going to the Hall of Knights. That's how you call it in English. It's a little dark in there. Let's see, we could try a longer exposure if we set it on the If we would have something to set it on, we could try a longer exposure. But we don't got much here to play around with. Because I don't want to keep it in my hand because that's obviously not going to work out. And we are missing here, let's see how much. At a four. That'll be half a second exposure for the ground. Let's see up there. We are looking at an eighth, the fifteenth. So if we do a fifteenth, that's a bit too much underexposed. Huh. So at least do it. Enjoy the view. Let's see here. This we could do at a thirtieth of a second. So we got a thirtieth of a second at a four. The distance here would be a little bit over two meters. Uh, let's set it at two and a half. Wait up, wait up. Let's see if we can get from this vantage point, some good exposure. Hmm. Technically, if we lay something under the lens, let's try my phone. So at F four we got eh, it's not that bad half a second exposure so let's set it to half a second let's set the focus distance to i would say oh uh, let's do 10 meters yeah that should be about my phone isn't enough to raise it here. Oh, let's see the leash from the camera. And we got a not bad here, but we still have to touch it to release the shutter. So let's go. Let's see how the photo comes out. Oh, we didn't cock the shutter, obviously. Let's see if we didn't lose the composition. All right, 
And let's do it. There we go. So we got something there. I don't know how our GoPro battery is holding on. We're on our 20th frame here now. Let's get back to 30th of a second and let's continue to another place. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we might get some view here. Let's see what's down there. Not from here. Then you got different paintings here. Of Jesus and everything. Many of which I do not understand. But of course they're related with... Polish history and all that because I could see this is a concentration camp somewhere here we got soldiers I don't know which soldiers I see at least one with from the Polish underground army that fought for freedom I think they're all Polish soldiers that did in combat or something and here we got John Paul II and other I guess Polish, uh, not only saints, but highly religious people. So we won't be going around all the photos, uh, I mean all the paintings. So let's go around. Let's continue that way to see what we can find what do we got here oh actually an interesting ceiling at a 4 30th of a second we can take this so how high could this be Let's see, three meters, let's guess, for my crooked eye. And let's continue. Do we still got photos? Yep, still winding on. Let's see if this door's open. Oh yeah. I think we can go in here. Oh, here we got the organs. That would be a good photo here. So that's a 30th of a second is good. Just the distance now, let's say about 10 meters. This doesn't look like a place we should be in. Uh, and there we got the painting of the Swedish deluge over there on the wall. Saberi. Going this way down. Huh. It's an interesting uh, architectural view. Of course, fifteenth of a second. Let's do it here. And let's set the focus to I don't know seven meters. 
let's see, do it horizontal or vertical? Let's do it vertical. All right, stop it in. This way, we're going this way. I think this is our last photo. I think we got our last photo loaded on. Let's get in some light here. So that would be all for today because we're out of film. Hope you enjoyed the photos. No matter how bad they came out, I still put them out. So, and you've seen a little bit tour of the Polish monastery of Jasna Gura in our city of Częstochowa. So if you want more videos like this, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and take care my friends. Bye.